guys. Welcome to this adventure. Now we're doing that. Guys, we're at the uh, factory antique mall. This place is huge. Probably the largest in the United States, if not the world. Let's go inside, check it out. Let's have a good time. Glad to share the places and the people that we'll meet. Think of the memories we'll have. Exploring hidden history, it's time to hop aboard. On the road with Malibu and Dad. On the road with Malibu and Dad. So guys, when you come in, right away, I'm starting to see a lot of cool stuff. You know you're gonna have a good time when ET's involved. And the Ninja Turtles. Look at all these antique toys. I love them. And Malibu and Mom. Malibu's excited. They also give you doggy carts here. And they're very dog friendly. That's a big part of why I like this place. The Antique Factory, guys. Here in Virginia. Guys, look at this. Love all the movie posters. Wizard of Oz. How about this alien here, guys? Wow. Super cool. Love it. The old toys again. All right, guys, so we're entering in. And look at the size of this place. Holy cow. Largest antique store in the United States. And you can see why. Holy cow. It just goes on and on and on. Well, let's go check it out. Malibu's enjoying herself. Guys, when you talk about glassware, look at this. Holy cow. Floor gold, iris. They've got it all. Amazing. Look at this here, guys. Wow. This is glass. Glass heaven. <laughs> Look at all the brass. Wow. Beautiful. Isn't that crazy? I was looking at an old green tricycle. I had one just like that when I was a kid. That thing is going for $245. Wow. I noticed in this uh, booth here, people who like to collect cameras. Look at all the cameras, guys. The old Kodaks. Amazing. Look at these. Different lenses. Even got some old 35 millimeter Nikon bodies there. That's amazing stuff. Look at that old vintage antique dress there, guys. That's all the primitives here. The old quilt. All right, I thought this was a bit bizarre, guys. But look at all the face mask. And wow, with the old clowns, old shoes. A lot of women back in the day put in shoes like this, guys. Look at that thing. They were built really nice. They're still going for 110 bucks. Crazy. These masks, though, man, these are creepy. Look at these things. Oh.
Well, I don't know guys, pretty spooky. This is a very unique booth. It's a giant elk head, $1,200. In Malibu, should look under the weather today. What's wrong, Malibu? Are you love sick? Guys, in this uh, booth here, fell in love with this piece here. Look how pretty that is. Four twenty nine. Two piece. Got the mirror and the dresser. Man, that's really pretty. I just love the color. Guys, as we walk down, I just got a little bit of everything. Some more dishes here. Some of these dish sets are really nice. Wherever you look, there's something to something to stare at. Beautiful stuff. I like that little table there. this complete little here here guys that's a real neat uh, little cabin corner section here look at the inside of this here guys what a cool booth the old lamp very cool got an old chair right there Like a man cave. I always like when you find these old holsters. This one's going for $45. Where that gun and that holster have been carried. That's a really old holster. Wow, look at this rocking chair. That is really nice. What's that going for? Hmm. It was 278. It was really cool, guys. All right, I love the vintage toy section. A big old Millennium Falcon in cardboard. That's pretty cool. Got some original stuff in there. All the Star Wars guys. Wow. The old toy wagons. You gotta remember some of those when I was a kid. Cool of those. Look at this crazy aircraft carrier. Isn't that cool? I almost missed a big giant land speeder. Yeah, they got the original box. That's gonna be worth a pretty penny. Look at this here, guys. Taxidermy heaven. Fish and tackle. Look at the mounts on this. Wow, those are amazing. Oh, look at this big fox. Big deers. Wow. Look at this fox, guys. Four hundred thirty-nine. Oh, I'm sorry, that's an Arizona coyote. Pretty cool. Wow, look at this turkey. Two forty-nine. Look at this photo here, guys. That's very different. Look at these. Those are just amazing. So guys, look at these uh, 
awesome, awesome mounts. I've never seen a white deer like that. That has got to be something special. This whole thing is just cool. Look at all the skins there. Wow, very cool. This whole thing is just amazing, guys. Look at this. Five ninety nine for that. Look at this, guys. Alright, Mantiques here guys, look at this. Knife Heaven. Look at the old armament. I want all the medieval swords and knives, how cool is that? Wow. I feel like I'm ready to film a movie. Alright guys, you know me and glass. Look at all this different type of glass. It's a pretty color. So we're like on the third row, guys. There's just too much to film. I couldn't possibly cover it all, but I want to show you as much as I can show you. can enjoy it with me. All oh, the different lamps here. The gas lamps. When we're talking about these jugs, how expensive they are. Look at the good prices on these. 28, 22 bucks. A lot of good prices here, but you know you've got such a volume. They've got to come down and on their prices that they want to sell stuff. Sometimes getting a larger venue like this can work against you as a vendor because you're competing with a lot more folks with a lot more uh, antiques. Look at these movie chairs right here. Man, I love that. Those are really cool. Four fifty for those. Wow. All the knickknacks, guys. They got a little bit of everything. Oh, there's another doctor's bag down there. Look at this crazy card here, guys. Is that cool or what? Wow. $335 is what they're asking. For that piece. Vintage toys. From back in the day. Some old furniture here. That's a very different piece right there. I like that. 195 guys. Alright guys, so I like the unusual. This dresser here is very unusual. I love this piece here. Look at that. This is an oak buffet table. It's going for $950. Worth every penny. That thing is absolutely gorgeous. Like many antique stores, uh, you also have you know, room for other stuff. They have a lot of rock stuff here. Crystals. Beautiful to look at. A big piece of sulfur, a big yellow piece of sulfur, pretty cool. It's always neat to see the big pieces. I know what they look like, like a amethyst in the wild, you know, $45 for that. They're kind of neat, big crystals. If you're into the, uh, the rock stuff about it, it's kind of neat. 
There's all kinds of precious stones too. I think this is a 300 million year old fern fossil. $24. You know, 300 million years old for 24 bucks. Kind of neat. Look at all these. I got a friend his daughter's into this kind of stuff. It's kind of neat. You collect different stones that have different things. I've got a big one here at this uh, flea market. All right, so my wife's gonna model this beautiful coat for you. What's that made out of, honey? Angora and rabbit. Angora and rabbit, guys, 80 bucks. What a deal. Look at, look at that. I'll be worth that all day long. Man, the booze having a good time. Maybe not. <laughs> she likes antiquing. She likes her stroller. Still leaving more, guys. I think we're maybe almost at the halfway point of Malibu. Oh, we got an old phone, guys. Wow. They've got some antiques here. For sure. Cats only. Look at these. <laughs> these are pretty funny. Look at an old sewing machine. My daughter loves to sew. Look at that. Old singer. 150 bucks. It's got the uh, stand and everything. Looks like it almost still works, too. Guys, okay, look. More vintage toys. I love those. Look at that. Look at the alien up there. And the giant Star Wars fighter. Darth Vader. Wow. Super cool. Look at a giant dinosaur. Very cool stuff. Alright guys, I like the, the weird stuff. Look at this old baby stroller. What's that going for? $385. Man, I don't even know if that's got a date on it. Look at the old two-seater bike. The old pilot. Bicycle back there. Look at that old vintage thing. Man, that is super cool. Look at the back end of that. It's almost like the Pee Wee Herman bike there. How about this, guys? Hop along Cassidy vintage lunchbox. 58 bucks. I love this thing. Look at this coffee pot. You can see the front of that. $42. Thing's solid. Solid as a rock. Love the old stuff. Army Navy uniforms. This is an old uh, seed spreader. $68, guys. It works. Put your seed down there, move the handle, and it spreads your seed. Pretty cool. Guys, this is a real vintage old telephone. $275, made out of oak. And the ringer still works on it when you crank it. How many of my viewers can put a comment say they've actually made a phone call on one of those? Jim, you out there? Look at this vintage desk here, guys. Oh, that's pretty. 489 is what it's going for. 489 bucks, guys. I love all these old Wood Vintage Toolbox. And that one, guys. All the drawers. 495 bucks. They don't go very cheap because they are very rare. But uh, very nice. Guys, I love this. As you know, I'm a big Civil War fan. Stonewall Jackson. These are lithograph lithographic prints. 
kind of rare. You got Stonewall Jackson, then you got General Robert E. Lee. And they're both going for $345 for the set. Very nice. Pretty cool set. I like those. All right, guys, if you like vintage tools, have I got a spot for you. Booth the JLB. Look at all these guys. Wow. That's incredible. Holy cow. Giant anvil there. $5.99. Look at this stuff, guys. Holy cow. How long does it take to accumulate this much stuff? And then sell it. A little fire nozzle there. Neat stuff. Your big vintage slabs of wood. I know a lot of people buy that stuff, make all kinds of cool stuff with it. We're almost halfway done. Guys, look at this section here. Holy cow. They've got antique furniture for days. Wow. By far, this has got to be the largest antique place in the United States. Look at that chair right there. Holy cow, I can't believe the size of this place. Look at the volume of furniture. Dresser after dresser. Look at this one here, wow. That's beautiful. How'd they do that back in the day? Look at the curves on that. $295. That's a steal, I think. That is a really cool piece. Just amazing. I love this one here. Wow. Look at those mashing chairs here. Very pretty. I love the gold. The old sled. And it just continues. Got a fireplace meal there. Two ninety five. Oh, twelve hundred ninety five. Big difference. All right, guys, we're moving on. That one there is six ninety five. That's not bad. More vintage toys, music, knickknacks. All right, guys, took another corner, and pow! More antique furniture everywhere. Let's take a look at some of these pieces. All the stuff is nice. Very nice. This little piece here is grabbing my attention now. $1,450. Wow. Some of this piece here. Beautiful buffet. Lovely picture of Jesus there. I like that. What do you think, Mike? This little rocking chair. 115. Malibu is uh, found something to entertain her as she shops around. Malibu, say hi to your fans. Guys, just more endless furniture. Nice pieces. If you're in the market for a piece, you gotta come here. This place is, I love this chair right here. I was kidding with my, my son-in-law. 
from the bottom of the cushion said George Washington sat here. <laughs> Look at this uh, buffet here. That's really pretty. Look at this stuff. That's a cool one. It's got those uh, wonky doors again. This is stuff you'll never be able to get again, guys. This is very rare pieces. 185. That part's chest. These are really cool. Alright, I guess it doesn't open. I can't get it open. There we go. Little drawers. Solid. Wow. Look at this one here, guys. That's nice. Here's a vintage piece. Wow, that looks very old. This one's pretty. I like the wood in the glass there. What's that going for? $4.95. It's a good price. These are probably 100 and something year old pieces. Little table here on this big bench. $180 for that. It's like someone fixed it though. Kind of a wreck. Hey guys, so this is the end of this uh, amazing place. We had a great time. It's huge guys. Pack a lunch if you're going to come. But uh, we had a great time. Hope you enjoy it. Get out there and adventure guys. Me and Mel, we're freezing. It's cold out here. But we love you. And uh, for our next adventure, me and Mel, we're going to say bye bye.